So everyone keeps talking about Blue Crew and Tomac. I've got a couple reasons why I think that happened. Why would Tomac finish off his career on a blue bike? Especially a blue bike that seems to be the death of so many people. We've got Stewart, couldn't get it done. AP, couldn't really get it done. Webb, looked like his career was over with and now he's double Supercross champ. Eli, what's going on? I've got a few theories. Theory number one, it's for money. He's got a kid now, sold his fancy car. Number two, Cowie doesn't think he can win anymore. Seems to have an engine that never turns off. You just never know when you're getting that little nitrous boost from, from Tomac. Looks like Cowie wants Anderson on their program. Anderson definitely has been going faster. I guess the great white hopes of Husky has to leave it to Osborne in order to get stuff done, which I, I think he might for at least the outdoors. I think Supercross, I think it's, it's definitely a real iffy, you know, between for the white bikes, but it's, it's not the point. It's just interesting that Anderson is going to Cowie right there with AC. AC, I definitely think is the number one guy where he's expected to win. Anderson, definitely the guy that can win. He just has to fine tune a couple things. So they're gonna have two really good guys that can win. I think Cowie is going to be a force to be reckoned with in the 450 class. 250 class, well, we all saw what's been going on with Mitch Payton. Backing up, what do you guys think about Tomac? His move to the Weed Whacker with Yamaha. You think he likes the sound of the motorcycle? Because I know I don't. Sort of seems like it's a career ending move. It's a, it's a, it's a last ditch effort to rack in some cash. Reminds me of Jeremy McGrath moving to Bud Light KTM. But I wanna know what you guys think in the comments below. Let's banter. It's gonna be a PR heyday if Tomac wins on that Yamaha. It'd actually be pretty cool. I'd like to see it. So, but again, I just don't think it's the, best move as far as for your career, but Tomek is getting older. I don't think he's going to be here in 2023. I think this is his last little bit on the blue bike. And the last person is, I said this before, I thought AP was going to KTM. He's going to be the wingman for Webb. It's a good place for him. Again, this dude shows that he can win. He should have won two rounds in Supercross. So, that's going to be a kind of a, a weird dynamic there. I believe DeCoster is probably going to say, hey, we're, we're mainly for Webb here. You're what Marv is, and maybe Marv is still going to be on the team. I don't know. Who, who, who knows? I just don't see him having three bikes in the paddock. They're expensive. We will see what happens, I guess. This is Johnny. Quick little tidbit on what I think is going on. Till next time. Bra, 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 bra. See, even my husky knows how to bra- Bro! Well done. Well done. Couldn't have done it better myself.